Hello everyone, welcome back to the Legend of Dragoon. In the last episode what we did was we continued onwards and ended up on the moon. You know, like you do. And now we're going onwards to try and stop Zeke from, you know, kind of destroying the entire universe. But, you know, it's, no it's nothing major. Just a normal Monday morning. We just went on recording this, by the way. I don't know why I always feel like I need to hide or show you behind the veil, but I just like to tell you what's going on. This will be Thursday's episode, I think. Got a little bit of a backlog, which I don't mind. I appreciate it. It gives me a chance to not have to worry about, oh my god, I've got to record a video straight away. Get out of here, you. So now I've got a cure dart of his fear, of his scarediness. Not that it really matters because he'll still do 500 damage. But it's just nice to get rid of it to make sure. Also, this place seems to be wanting to give me fights every two seconds. Which I'm not too big of a fan of, to be honest. There's just two more Manticores, nothing to worry about. I saw somebody else's playthrough of this on YouTube recently. I didn't see the name. I was just looking through my videos and saw another one. And I was like, looking through their play times, like an hour each video. And by episode 45, they're only on the start of Disc 3. I don't know what they were doing. Maybe they were doing an absolute complete playthrough where they talked to every single person and went back and forth a lot. It was interesting. A moon that never sets. It's spreading poison all over the world. In order to stop the poison, you have to reach the core of the moon before it's too late. Unless Shano and the core, as Rose says, are wedded, the god of destruction won't be born, right? It is a dilemma for us because we want to take Shano back. If we don't meet Shano and if we can only destroy the core of the moon, the world will be saved. But Zeke is here for sure with Shano. The only chance to save her. We will save her, the world and Shanna. Fate's not in the hands of the creator, it's in our hands. We won't let Soa decide the fate of the world. That goes for Shanna's fate as well. We will decide our own fate. God damn it. That's right, Dark. We'll decide our own fate. By going straight into the heart of the moon. Never set? Yes. It has been long, very. Let's get going. Okay. Don't have to tell me twice. This place gives me the creeps. Well, this seems fine. The moon is shaking. Don't tell me. The God of Destruction is about to be born. It cannot be. The birth of the God of Destruction is our death. That's right. We're still alive. Let's go. We must stop my father. Whoa! Is this a forest? I thought we stepped into the moon. But indeed this tree is a true tree. Oh no, were we sent to the ground? No. 
Listen, it's the heartbeat of the large embryo, the god of destruction. An empty body that's the living corpse for which the soul was taken out by ancient Winkies on the day it was conceived in the divine tree. We must be in the moon. Then no matter what it looks like, we gotta keep going. Can't carry any more items, we'll see about that. Sunny Jim. No one has empty MP. Okay. Guess I'll discard something then. <laughs> Making me play the game properly. Frozen jet. Mm -mm -mm. So what does this look like? This is the prairie, isn't it? This is an interesting part of the game because you get lots of different environments, but all the enemies are weird. And also everything's a bit messed up. So I'm going to show you these things because all these enemies are obviously going to be new. For the most part, anyway. Get out of here. You're done, Zo. Each time I do Inferno, I get a little bit closer to not having to suffer through Kongol's uh, low attacks. And also suffer through the comments of people saying, oh, Get Kongol's ultimate attack, please! I will. Or try to, at least. It looks like a grassland. Yeah, but it's not. It's, it's all weird. Miranda, what's wrong? I know this place. Does it look like the forest of your home? Not only that, it is the forest of Minister so where I grew up. I'll be back soon. Sorry, but wait for me here. There's something I have to check, alone. Miranda! As I expected, this is the forest of my home. Why is this in the moon? This rose is... Mother, where are you going? Go home, Miranda. Huh? You have a kid? Um, yeah. Mother, don't go. Father's calling you. What are you gonna do? Because I married that man, my life's been completely ruined. He has hardly works and drinks all the time with the money I earned. Don't even have enough food and I'm starving every day. I can't stand it anymore. Hmm. A beautiful life must be waiting for me if I leave this forest. Yes, I can say farewell to this miserable life. Now, let's go. M mother What a bitch. I understand giving your kid up, kid up if you can't look after her, it's fine, but just leaving? But, what? <laughs> Don't worry, Death Rose. I'll beat you up. So yeah, this is a boss that you have to fight with only Miranda. So I hope you enjoy doing basically no damage, because I do. At least it's a fairly straightforward fight. It's just literally you shoot arrows at it and it hits you until either you win or you lose. Why? Why did you abandon Dad and me? 
Ah, Miranda, I had no choice. Shut up. Dad fell in alone and became an orphan. You can never imagine how I've lived since then. Ah, it hurts. I'm gonna keep going until you die. There's no excuse. I understood that what I've done is unforgivable as a mother, but I want you to understand. What do you want me to understand? I worked because I didn't want you, a newborn baby, to starve, but he didn't even try to work. My father may not have been a respected man, but at least he was with me all the time and like you. Ah, it hurts. the way you want to go about your business if you want to make things better between you and your mother. I realise. But Miranda seems quite set on not caring, so... I'll follow her wishes and just keep shooting him off the lavos. I can imagine how angry you are at me, but I never forgot about you even for a moment. Don't lie to me. It's not a lie. I visited him so many times to take you with me, but every time he just kicked me out. What? My mother was thinking about me. You have the same name as the Goddess of Mill. She's pure and loved by everybody. I named you that because it was my wish for you. Ah, it hurts. Sir. Fuck you. It's easy to say something without proof. Why didn't you come back after my dad died? I'm sorry to make you feel lonely, Miranda. Forgive me. Oh, I... oh you can forgive me? Thank you, Miranda. Since it's the only way to end the fight. In real life, I'd probably just keep shooting until she exploded into a pile of her own blood. Dragoon and normal level went up. Mm -mm -mm. Tasty. Mother, I was wrong. Not really, but okay. I entered the palace in order to preach love and to build a world where everybody can live happily, but my heart was filled with sorrow and hatred. And without knowing, I was absorbed into fighting in order to ease my loneliness. I didn't even try to understand my mother's pain and agony, just accumulate hatred and hurt many people. I don't deserve to be a sacred sister. Miranda, what happened? Are you really okay? Your eyes are kind of watery. <clears throat> Sorry, please leave me alone now. Let's go. That's the only thing we can do now. Okay. So that's, that's something that happened. Where are we? Oh, we're just in a different room. And apparently we're still getting more items that I have to do something with. Give me that. A downburst, okay. Ooh, another enemy. Let's see what it is. It's a unicorn and a little dragon fella. I'll show you the little dragon fella, why not? Ow! Okay, well that probably would hurt, being gored by a uh, unicorn. It's a swift dragon. Not swift enough, I'm afraid. To avoid Meru's hammer of justice. Yeah, I like being able to do 600 damage even through uh, 
half the damage. And if it's still alive, that means that Maru can finish it off. Damn it. Doesn't matter. Good job, everybody. Good job, everyone. Loving it. My brain is telling my mouth to do the orders faster than my mouth can actually make the noises, so I'm going. My apologies. Good job, everybody. What's this? We gotta go forward anyway. In video game terms, it's called a transition. There are people. What's going on? Why are people living in the moon? I still don't know, but... Rose, what are you doing? You feel pain. It is certain that this is not just an illusion. This world is reality. Indeed, I never visited the moon before, but I cannot help but feel like I know this place. People's faces, clothes, it's not a mistake. This is a building in Serdio. I have travelled all over Endiness and they have typical Serdian faces. Look, the girl over there. Look, Serdian, no, she is not. It cannot be. Disappeared? It looks like that is reality here too. Hello. Uh, no, I'm alright. I need to go to the healing room and heal my fear. See, so yeah, this is just a random shop full of people, and uh, you can buy items and weapons here for no reason. I actually have no idea why. I can't remember why. That's just a random town. What does the place call it? Just calls it the moon, right? Yeah, it's just moon. All of it is just moon. Hello. This tune is... This tune is... Hmm. Interesting. Items are important. Yes, they are. I concur. Uh, I would like to sell some things and then buy some other things. Let's see what we can get rid of. I need to buy at least one mind purifier just to make sure that I can recover from the effects of fear and scariness. Hello. A female's missing. Please flunk for her until we find her this place is closed. Okay. Yeah, I'm the son of the most wealthy house in this town. Yeah. Come on, I'll treat you to spirits. Well done, right, Bowman. It's on me, I'm a rich man. Yeah. You are Tran, aren't you? Indeed. Do you know him? Yes. If he's my old acquaintance, this must be Bale 20 years ago. What? Jan turns into a drunk who's just drunk. Wanna survive? Buy good weapons. He's the guy who wanted good spirits. Also, yeah, these, this is where you get this, the really, really good items for these characters. Basically, they're infinite damage armor. And weapons, like, all, the, all of the best weapons apart from, like, Dart and some others. They get their stuff here. You can also buy good attack rings and all this sort of stuff here, if you're that way inclined. I want to buy a Giganto ring, but not use it yet. I have to wait until uh, Kongle has all of his Dragoon levels first. Which might take a while. Let's see how our additions are doing. Yeah, Blazing Dino is definitely going to be numbered 99. Perky Step also. Inferno is nearly there. Well, I guess we'll run through that mirror. 
don't really have much of a choice. Whee! I understand this place is not where it appears to be, but where are we now? A world behind the wall. It seems as if the labyrinth of the moon is not refusing us. No, almost as if it's maybe inviting us. Manitos, it seems this place belongs to them. I think they were the 99th species. Maybe they can tell us something about this place. Hello? The psych is killing this world. This time it's whose heart, whose intention. It is you or you or maybe me? You don't see people who you shouldn't see. You see people who you have to see. Uh, okay. A little bit weird, but fine. You don't see people you shouldn't see. You only see people you have to see. If I can't carry it, I'm not that interested. That's a way through. Oh yeah, there's also fights in here. Maybe. Unless I just had yellow the whole time and I didn't notice. Which is completely possible. I wouldn't put it past me. But let's get rid of one of the frozen jets. I don't need two. Okay, that's fine. Right, let's keep going. Yeah, you can get fights here. Let's see what's in door number one. It was just another swift dragon. Best not to worry about it. But yeah, this place is a bit weird. Oh, another fight. Don't mind if I do. Not going to make me have one yet, though. Okay. Let's keep going. Hmm? You don't seem to be one of the Menintos. Look at her closely. It's the girl in the room we came from. Oh. She's the girl who disappeared into the wall, isn't she? Hi, what are you doing here? Dot! This girl doesn't know about you yet. What are you talking about? Let me go now. She is Claire. She is inviting me. Sorry, but please wait for me here. Hashel? Hashel was right. The girl was inviting Hashel, not you. You can only wait for him. Okay, but as with Miranda, what's going on in the moon? Claire. It is you, Claire. It's me, your father. Don't come here, I hate you, Dad. Claire. Always, always strict discipline. What can I use such a thing for? The power to destroy, the power to hurt people? I don't need such power. Hmm. I still look discipline you since you were little. I only had you. I had to hand my art, this ancestral art, down to the next generation. It's not fair. I just want to sing songs, chit-chat with my friends, pick flowers and fall in love. Our art was never meant to hurt people. It is a martial art to give life to people. Please understand. I don't understand. <laughs> Okay, Claire. Do you remember the first time we reached, we matched wills? You read my movement in a blink and went on the offensive with swiftness. It was an innate art. I don't think so. I'm just a girl like the ones you can find anywhere. No, you can surpass me. Nobody has been charmed by the war god as much as you. Your hidden power. Ah, it's not inside my body. Dad, help me. Somebody's taking me. Cl Claire, what is wrong? Hmm. All right, Claire. I'll show you true power. Take that, only sweet.
I hate you, Dad. You did this to my body. It's your fault, Dad. Hmm? No, it's impossible. The transmigration of the war god. Is she demonized? Yee! Incredible. Nobody has ever reached that level except the founder. Nagarujuna. I can't say it. Nagarujuna. That's it. Four gods' destruction. How did Claire learn? <laughs> Make sure you heal, man. Nothing I can do. I am the war god. I preside over the art of war and beckon death. It is your desire to awaken me. I am the answer to your long quest. No, you are my Claire. You are not the war god. Leave from the body of my Claire. Hmm. I can hear. It is the pain voice of Claire. Hang in there. I'm coming to save you. Art down to my very core. How can I exercise this? Being obsessed by martial arts has made my precious daughter enjoy this suffering. Forgive me. you hit like little girl. You need to hard hit me harder. Yes. You want to try that again? Oh, you do. Okay. down to my very core. Mind's eye, awaken! I don't care about myself. I have to save my daughter. Claire, I'll focus all my body and soul into this and kill the devil that possesses my Claire. Good job, Hasho, you did it. Forgive me, Claire. Hasho, is it over? Hasho, you also saw the past. Yes, I did, but the past wasn't as bitter as I imagined. It seems everything, both the future and past, are filled in this moon. The future when the world will be destroyed. And our past. Both Miranda and Hasha were made to see the past by the moon, right? They see. As I told you, we are in reality, it's not illusion. Maybe they can do it because they are the 108th species and gods. 
Let's move on. We wasted lots of time. We have no time for this. We need to keep moving. Okay, so I'm going to end as soon as we find a new save point because I'm just like that. Hashel's resolved his past. Miranda's resolved her past. Who's left? I don't know. Everyone? Just a unicorn and his dragon friend. Maru leveled up. Nice. Nice one, Maru. Nice. Let's keep going. Through this twisty, turny, roundabout -y thingy. We've got a flash hall. That's literally all that's here, by the way. You don't have to come here if you don't want that flash hall. I'm pretty sure. These unicorns won't leave me alone. I thought it was super rare to see one unicorn, let alone about 12. Oh well, RPG logic. It's completely normal to find unicorns. Maybe they aren't rare in this world. Either way, we're going to get another fight before we get to leave. Definitely. Dragons. Unicorns. Everywhere. Haunting my dreams. At least it's not so bad. If the fights were really hard, it would be annoying. But they aren't that hard, so it's okay. Anyway, I think we're heading back to the mirror now. So we can go back through the guard in Bale who says, No! But first, what we're going to do is save and continue in the next episode. So thanks for watching, everyone. See you guys next time. Goodbye!